All right, there it is, the beginning of the second game, and this is going to be a nice matchup, Coach. We got, of course, the team I was telling you about earlier. Uh, wow, there it is, Jerry Boston from the bench warmers hitting that first three. And this team right here is the team I wanted you to look at. Uh, of course, they're called Lockup. Lockup, okay. Yep. Who we got here, number 11? Number 11, uh, we got uh, Bobby. Bobby's the one that's... Now, well, now, now I got Connor here. Connor, you know these guys. Uh, Bobby, what's his background? Is he still in high school? Is he still, is he done? Or Bobby's, he Bobby's playing basketball at Columbia Basin in uh, Spokane, I think. So he's a Columbia Basin coach. Okay. Bobby, and that's, a, that's of course, at NWAC school. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So number 13. That's where they have, that's where the NWAC, that's where the championships are, Columbia yeah. Basin, right? Now, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, him going, you know, every time we, you know, we think about these kind of things, these, these, these kids are in our neighborhood, and then they, they go off somewhere else, and, you yeah, know, it's a chance to come in our school. I want out that, I want out that gold. The guy that just passes the Edmonds guy. Yeah. Passing to, of course, another oh, yeah, Edmonds guy. Yeah, I remember, I remember him. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the new guys he played last week, number 15, you see him in the paint. Yeah. I don't know his story, but I think he's played some, some college ball. I'm not sure. Where is he from? Right there. That's the one. Uh, Connor, number 15, you know who that is on your team? Oh uh, yeah, that's Pierce. He played he played high school ball with everyone. He was a he graduated with uh, Quantrell and oh, Caleb and Cody. Okay. He played he played high school ball with all of them on the, the 20 and 0 team that we had at GP. 20 and 0 team? Yeah. What year was that? 2020, 2019. It was it was right before Good job. All right, all right, all right. It, it was right before COVID. Like they, they were playing in the dome, and then the month later we got shut down for COVID. So wow. it was, it was okay. 20, 2019, 2020. Like the first, the first COVID, the first COVID case at Jackson was during the state playoffs with that team. Yeah. Man. Great block there. So right now it's a 17 minute mark of the first half. We got a 13 to eight lead right now for, uh, for of course the, uh, the lockup team. Lockup with another, secures another defensive rebound. Oh, ball's a little, uh, you might see something here. Easy dunk there by Zeke. That's the one that's from Florida, looking to play overseas a little bit. Okay, okay, that was good athleticism. I mean, look across the, uh, the the court, coach. I mean, you got Makai, you got some athletes. You, know you, you, got, you, got, you got a bunch. I mean, the, the team is loaded with college players. I can't believe they're one and two. Yeah. Well, you know, one of those things, you know, coach, is that they, they first start playing together in, a, in an organized situation. Everybody's trying to show themselves that they might be the one or the, you know, the, the one option type guy. And so yeah. the ball movement doesn't help. That's right. That's right. Good deep by good deep by Jerry. Here comes Paul. Paul's played some ball over here in Seattle. Moving the ball around well. Makai, I like his game. Nice little smooth game. Out of bounds off his foot. Ten to 13, 15 minutes to go here in the first half. Oh, okay. look at that move. Coach, you like oh, it. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Now, there's another.
another player out here, number four for the green team. Team bench warmers, you recognize him, he played at Mariner. Number four. I think he plays in NWAC, I'm not sure. Okay. I've seen him in the three on threes in Everett last year, I, I, you know. Yeah. I know Makai is going to, uh, he's transferring to Everett. to Everett, Everett Trojan. Thirteen minute mark, coach. That was a strong move inside, and, and Caleb being able to gather himself and get that and one. Yeah, great move, great move by the youngster. Way to get, create the contact and finish. E. T. in the house. E. T. just walked in. Of course, the star player for Tormented Souls. Also. Plays for the uh, the uh, the pro team down in Seattle, the uh, Seattle Hawks, right? Yeah, Seattle. I went to one of their games and saw him on the roster. There's Makai. Seattle Superhawks. Superhawks, right? Yeah. Wow, there goes Makai again. Oh, steal his shot. Makai, Makai, maybe he knows you're here. You know how it is. They see some coaches out here. They start playing yeah. a little harder. Yeah, he's playing hard. He's playing hard defense. Exactly what coaches look for these days. A lot of kids don't like to play defense. It's all about the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. Gary Boston throwing it in. Tough foul right there. Yeah, these guys, they play college ball. They play, you know, at a level where they, they're they competitive, but they come to a men's league, and sometimes you're used to seeing men's league, they just go up and down with, with not much defense, but in this situation, you see, you see these guys battling right yeah, now. They're, they're playing a lot of defense. You know, sometimes, you know, men's league is a different beast. You know, sometimes these guys come out here from college and they think it's easy. And some of these guys play basketball every single day. So they're playing at high levels, too. It might just be men's league, but some of these guys have played at a high level. They play basketball their lives. They know the game. They understand the game. And if you're not ready, you don't come out here ready, you might get eight for lunch that day. So 2027, we got 1053 to go uh, in the first half. Oh, Tavon in the house. We haven't seen Tavon for a while, but he's back. How you doing, buddy? Good, Good to see you, man. Uh, all right, so uh, Tavon from the from the south side, coach. Yeah. He's uh 
He he played a couple times, yeah. Yeah. I think I've seen him play in some of Marvita tournaments. Yeah, I think I think he played at Olympic back in the day. Uh, oh yeah, I, did. I remember he played at Olympic. We played against him. Okay. Yeah, the first year I coached the show, he was on the Olympic team. Yeah. Okay. I remember him. Yep. Yeah. Where was he at? Huh? Yeah. Paul with a nice step back. Looking is the matchup he wants. Uh oh. 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 Great move. Missed the shot. There we go. 24 27. One point, one possession game. Bobby. Oh. Save it to the block. Twenty-four twenty-seven, just under the ten minute mark here in the first half. Yeah. Oh, good move. There it is, you know. I think that, that, that's, a, that's a big mismatch right there. I would go to it. Yep. I would expose it. Bravo. Oh, what are we doing? And one. And a foul there. We got Pierce on the free throw line now. We had Cody open in the corner. Uh, you know, this generation, you know, they usually they kick it out and they have maybe one or two guys inside to maybe get an offensive rebound. They yeah. they love that three-point shot, right? They love the three-point line. They love it. They love it. They love it. And the thing is, they love it to the point where every everybody is not that kind of a shooter, but they love it. <laughs> 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 That's the downfall of the game these days. Yeah. Everybody... It's all about three points, but everybody's not that kind of shooter. Step back looked nice. In and out. Almost off it's a rebound. Look at this one coming down. Good. Oh. Here comes Pop. Behind the back. In the lane. Grise drop pass. Oh, block. Who's in Oz over here? 24-31. Can't come back in, buddy. He cannot be the first one to touch the basketball. That's a good point you made there, Coach. Uh, and all these guys probably don't know that. They'll probably hear us talking about it now when they watch the film. But yeah, you know. Coach Terrence, he's, he refs, he knows the rules. You know, that's just a basic thing. You, you can't be the first guy to come back in after trying to save their own basketball from going out of bounds, right? Yeah, yeah. you cannot be the first guy to touch it. You have to throw it to another person and establish, establish yourself back in the court. Mm -hmm. 31-27, game's closed, seven minutes to go here in the first half. I need to see him take over the game. I, I, I like it what I, I'm like it what I see, but I think he's being a little nice out here. Ooh. Wow, big shot by Cody, captain. 34-29, five-point game. He has to take over the game. He needs to be. He's being too nice out here. Jerry in the middle he wants to kick it back out. Ooh, oh, quick shot there. No good. That's what I mean about a kick out to the shooter. Hey, why are we going away from who's scoring the ball? Okay. 
into the game adds to the defense adds to the offense okay oh, oh oh great move terrible defense yes 29 36 terrible, terrible defense if they're going to play defense like that the whole game it's going to be a long night the white team is playing great team basketball There it is now, 31-36, five-point game. Here comes Bobby. Hold on Pull here. up. Ooh. Okay, okay. You know, you know, you know, it's interesting, Coach, and you know the same guy I'm already about the name, but look at number, number 12, which is Connor. You know, the one that, you know, like he said, you know, he he was part of that group of friends that, that played at GP. You know, he's a role player. He knows it. Strong body. You know, athletic is, is for his for his size. We know Darcy. Yes. Was that what Darcy looked like man, when he was little? Man, that is a carbon copy. Yep. That is a carbon copy of Darcy. <laughs> carbon copy. Same run, same <laughs> everything. That is Darcy's son from another... <laughs> Darcy, you out there? Darcy, you out there? We, we found your son. <laughs> Long lost. Four thirty-nine. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Makai, nice old move there. Great balance. Big shot there by Bobby, keeping the lead at six points. Bench warmers trying to cut into this lead every time. First half, good action. Back and forth. Thirty-nine forty-two. Jerry Boston deep. Ooh. Jerry Boston had that shooter. Shooter team. There it is. Oh, great oh, deep. Great defense. That's great defense right there. Oh, missed a layup. Even if that was a foul, that was great defense. Yeah. The man dribbled into the trap. I'm not calling that. Even if it was a foul, why dribble into the trap? Foul, foul. 39-42. Not a smart play by the guard. Yeah. Dribbled into the trap, got the ball, taken away from, from him. Even if he was fouled, who's calling that? No ref is yeah. calling that. Why are you dribbling into the corner? Oh, 
Oh, great deep. Oh, travel. All right, 52 seconds. Do they hold it or they just go, huh? Great move. Oh, no, oh. no finish, though. Now 43 seconds, coach, you know. You want to shorten it. Shorten the possessions when you come down in this situation. Clock's not going to stop. Uh, yeah, why why these, are we rushing? Yep, there's no rush to it. Peter, call, Peter, yep. Out. Peter made a good call there. We got to understand, coach. You know, shot men's league. The, the, the clock runs in the first half. The smart thing defensively is foul, make the clock run out. Yeah. But you know, if you got some timeouts, just stop it. Now you got to run her. You know, once that ball comes in, they might yeah, do it again. They might do it again. They might, they might take their time and wait till they get in a bad situation where they can't get a timeout or can't get a shot off. That's, a, that's, that's the thing about men's league. A lot of these guys don't understand the basis of the chess game of basketball. You know, they're just going off their instincts instead of understanding the chess game. They're not understanding, like, what we're talking about here, about the knowledge of the game where the time is a big part of the chess piece. Yeah. Like, we're, we're taking quick shots. For no reason, instead of just like you said, the clock doesn't stop. Why am I taking a quick shot, especially yep. if I have the lead? Yep. You know, like I said, you know, you, you see a lot of talent out here, coach, and you know, you see guys that you know play at that level of college, but you see some swagger out there that that, that could be hurtful to their brand. Yes, you right. know what I'm saying, coach. You're right. You're right. You're, you're exactly right. One shot here. See what they do here. You know, like they said, they might get a quick foul out of it and run the clock out. There okay, it is. there it is. Now, now, coach, this is going to be interesting, and this is why I want to see. You got a great player in Zeke that just knew that that might just happen. Yeah. Now it just happened. Is yes. he going to learn from that? Or if he's gonna let that that player do it again, because now there is no more time out. Yeah, we will Here see. We will see. Watch this. There it is. There it is. Yep. Didn't learn from it. Got to move the ball. That's it. Move the ball, or he should. He got to catch and go. Yep. Got to catch and go. Yep. Sit there, hold the ball, trying to go one on one. Yep. That's what we mean by the IQ and the having the swag and the difference in the knowledge of the game. Yep. You know, now they're questioning, like, is there is it a one on one? They should have asked that question, coach, before they go back out there. Yeah. Right? You got to know that before you go out there. That's right. You know, you can't you can't ask the question after the fact. Yeah. There was only four. Now they know. You see man, this kind you, of you thing. Like you like you hurt, man. What? Like you should know. He played at Portland State. You should know that. Now, did, uh, he must have played a couple different schools. Do you know if he played at other schools? I don't. I don't know where he went before that. Uh, well, second half started, 39-42. It's a three-point game. Bobby getting into the paint. Look at this. Oh, too much. Trying to get it out. Man, great opportunity for the white team. They blew it. Coach, we see number one, small little guard. You see, you see, and you, you see these things in guards. They come down on a transition like that. They're both in look, looking both ways. They're look, they're navigating themselves through it. Does the best thing. Pulls up nice mid range. I told him at halftime he has to put the ball in his hands and take control for his team. It's the only way they're going to win. He controls pace. Yes, he does. Get the rock. Get the rock. Oh no! Cook him. Cook him. Oh. It's going to be big. Oh, terrible shot. <laughs> 98% move, 2% shot. Oh, followed by a work shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, you know, we, we see a comedy of errors out here. We see three straight shots, ill-advised long threes, um, early in the shot clock, let's say, even though it's not shot clock. And then by the luck of the draw, it's an air ball. He gets it and one layup. They could have went that went to that situation right off the bat, right? But that's the thing we talk about. About we talk about this generation. See, these generations don't understand that everybody. There's there's shooters out there. There's pure shooters. Then there's people who can shoot the basketball. And the people who can shoot the basketball are usually people that have worked on getting their shots better. 
but then there's pure natural shooters. Everybody's got a natural shooter. Yeah. So those players have to be, get a great rhythm of knocking down shots. And if they're not in the rhythm of the game, they're going to knock them down all the time. Said I met Paul last week, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. You know, with, did a little interview with him. Speaks well. Uh, I didn't get a lot of, I didn't get a lot of information watching him play the first couple weeks. Now I'm getting a lot of information here how how his game is. Um, I don't know too much of the background. I, I don't know if he's had some college level experience, but the way he plays out here, he looks like he he has that level of experience. Cody with a great shot out there. Cody actually uh, coached, I think, for the JV squad uh, for G GP. Yeah. But he's from that group of friends there. They all play the AU together. Okay. Yeah, they do. Now, coach, I, 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 coach, I want to, I want to show you guys like the value of. Connor, number 12, on this team. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. You don't want to. You don't want to see that kind of stuff, you know. I don't. I think it was a hyper extension there on his knee. No, I think it's an ankle. Ankle. Dougie like rolled the ankle. Dougie mm -hmm. rolled the ankle. See, that's why these players don't understand the importance of a jump stop. Playing off two. Playing off two. See. When, most time when these kids they go off on one leg and try to do all that dipsy do stuff, they end up getting hurt. Either they're falling on the floor, hurting something on their body, or they're straining an ankle. Yeah. The jump stop, you use your body, you finish, then the referee's more applicable to call a foul. Yeah, yeah. But back to the IQ, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody out here is gonna jump off of one foot and do that. Nobody's yeah. playing off two. Be different. Separate yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big shout out to Ooh. It'll, it'll go out like at 11 a.m. in the morning. He might put it out late tonight, depending. Forty-six, fifty-three, fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes to go here. A little bit of separation now. I mean, the white team is playing great team basketball. They're backdoor cutting. They're moving without the ball. They're finding the mismatches. Watch this right here. That screen. Oh. Oh, and one. Wow. Big play there by Caleb Lee. Did, did, did you see the defense? No one stepped up. The guy just followed off the screen. You know, that was a great read by Caleb Lee. Great read. I think the green team might be in trouble. This young group of kids... They are playing good team basketball, and they know each other really well. Yeah. Now, number seven, Tavon, you know, he was he was in this league last year, played with a, a, a lesser type team, had to be the guy. I think he, he averaged maybe close to 40 points a game in the first three games of the season for him. Yeah. But that, that was a situation where he only was the only scorer. Yeah. Now he's on a team with some scores, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, this game might be it might be over, coach. It might be over. Well, we at 12 point lead right now with the team that moves the ball around well. Good basketball IQ. If they don't start moving the basketball, this green team has to start moving the basketball. Okay, great. That guy, he, he, huh. I like him. I like him. I like him. I like him. He saw the, he saw the opening in the middle. Went in there, like you said, coach. Went off, went off a situation where he, he knew the jumper was going to, I mean, the, uh, the floater was going to work. Yep. Great, you know, that's great basketball IQ. Oh, good move. Oh, great move by Caleb Lee. Way attacking, he's being aggressive, attacking the basket. The green team is walking. They're slowing down.
What a flop. Oh, my God. The leak here. comes Zeke now. Now here's the key thing here. Is he gonna pull up a three? Yeah, it just happened. Jerry ready? Jerry Boston comes from a family of shooters. He has shooter blood lines. Oh, good D. Good D. Hold the ball too much. Good hit. By Paul. Good hit. I like Paul's game. I'm starting to like this guy. He, yeah. he needs the ball in his hand more yeah, often, I think. He, he does. They need to go run, the, run the offense through him. Right. He really does, and he can make that team better. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to shoot it. Oh, he's pulling it. Oh. Possession arrow. White ball, white ball, white ball, white ball. Got it. Kevin, Kevin has it. Caleb, interesting, uh, he, he sees a, a height advantage he has, and he, he kind of made some nice little footwork oh, moves. Oh. oh. Got a hole in the rim. Get that one on the dunk cam. <laughs> Man. 54-65, 11-point game, coach. Man. 11 minutes to go. The green team still like They call timeout. Now, you know, the, the thing is, Coach, we got the third game, the nightcap game next, and uh, we got a real strong veteran team in the night, uh, I mean, the, uh, the Tormented Souls team. You know, yeah. you know the guys, Eric Turner, David Serger, yeah. because Josiah that played overseas in, in, in Australia. Yeah. That's a nice team, but they're 0-3, Coach. Oh, no. 0-2, oh, well, let me oh, say. No. Yeah. And then you got you got another team here that's 0-0 for whatever, I think, 0-2, 0-3. So I kind of set this matchup with two undefeated teams early, one and two teams in the middle, and then the two teams that haven't won a game. But the, the thing is, both these teams in the third game, they got some talent on it. I mean, you know Tao. You know Tao. Tao is, gonna, is, a, is probably arguably one of the best shooters in this league. He has, he leads the league yeah. record at 68 points in one ooh, game, ooh. right? So it's going to be interesting to see what he does in this game. And the key thing is, is and what I what I say to players all the time is like, you gotta you gotta recognize what you have, and be able to set that guy up because that's 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 the thing we were just talking about this the other day. This generation they don't recognize that there you have other people on your team that can play. Everybody is so apt to go one on one. Back when we played, we didn't care about who shot the ball. Everybody passed the ball. Everybody, all everybody was worried about was winning the game. Because they knew once, if you played well and you got the ball to everybody, you win, you stay on the court longer. You make the game easier for yourself. Fifty-six, sixty-seven, eleven-point game here. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. NBA three, oh, in and out. Yeah. They yeah, they're settling. They're settling. They, 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 they can get in the paint. They can get some fouls out of it. They can put some pressure on the defense. I mean, 
You take these long shots. Here's another long shot. Oh, hey, Cody. Oh, dagger. Oh, a young boy, and he looks over here with confidence, letting everybody know that he can knock those shots down. They needed that. Yeah, yeah, because if they would have got, if that would have been a rebound, they would have been in really trouble right now. It, it might turn into a blowout. Right? Yeah. They're still down by 12. They got to push the basketball. Now they got some strong bodies that can get inside the paint. Uh, yeah, they're, they're relying the too much. You know, they, 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 they rely on the outside shot. They're you know? too much on three. Shot by, by Caleb in the corner. It goes to show you that having a team full of talent is not all that it takes. You gotta have a team that knows and understands the game with basketball IQ. The white team is just out smarting this green team. They're playing the perfect game. And, and, and that's what I was telling you earlier in the first game, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm intrigued by this this oh. team. They got the score, they got the shooter, they got the basketball IQ. We saw it at the end of the first half where he fouled, Caleb fouled at the right time, in the right spot. Like, get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball. That's great D by the young man. Great D. Great D by the ball. You just wasted 30 seconds handling the ball, trying to go one on one. Just get rid of the ball, make the basketball get a quick score. They're down 12, well, seven minutes. Now, you know, one thing though, I gotta, I gotta say about this, uh, the team that's up right now. I've seen them up like this, coach, and they, and they, they, they shoot themselves too early, and they start missing, and uh, the other team gets to come back. You know what I mean? Now, it, it, it's just kind of a day job move for me, coach. If they don't start slowing the ball down, they got seven minutes. They can slow this down. Oh, that was a tough miss right there. Here they come, right? Up by 14. 15, seven minutes to go. Yeah. Oh, oh great bad pass. The game's over. Yeah. There it is. Ooh. The game's over. Now the just let you know, over. Bobby, as, as much as you see him being a shooter, and he dunked on David Serger one week, it was the highlight. Just like how he did on the corner there. Mm -hmm. and he came and cocked it back. And I haven't oh. seen the replay on it, but they're talking about it. Game's over. 66 82. You, always, you want to see two teams like this battle out down the stretch here, but time there the you go. They're not putting pressure on the ball. Yep. They're going to get a good shot out of this. Watch. They're going to get a good shot. Oh, oh, oh. They move, way to move the ball. Keep, oh, oh. oh. He's feeling it, I guess. No. Oh. Almost tip it in. He's going to fall. Make it a, he's going to make it a good decision here. I feel it. Oh, oh no. no. Foul him on the arm. Great call by Kevin. Foul him on the arm. Even if he didn't foul him, it looks like a foul. Swiping down. These players don't understand that if referees, the rule is, if they see you swipe it down sometimes, even if it doesn't look like a foul, that's a foul.
coach over there on the sideline, you know, it's like five minutes and he's taking his time on the free throw line. You're down. You're down. Yeah. Double digits. What are you doing? You got to get the shot up. Let's yeah. go. Sixty-nine, eighty-two. Got thirteen-point game, coach. Uh, you know, clock's running down. You know, the, you know, lockup's gonna take their time. They, they ain't no rush. They're in no rush. They're going to the post, taking advantage of the mismatch. Referees letting them play a little bit. Eleven-point game now. Four yeah. minutes and thirty seconds. Okay. got to just spread this out and move the ball around. They don't need to grind down low. I know no. that's an advantage situation, but they're letting them play. They, you know, it might happen when they get turnovers. There you go. Oh, nice open look, I guess. There it is. Great basketball right there. 85-71. The bench warmers. They got to pull up three. Yeah. Now the clock's running here in this situation. It's gonna run if they don't get it uh, 10 or less. So the key thing for they gotta get this yeah bench throw. warmers they need to get this they need to get this free throw. Get a great defense right, possession. right. Keep and keep the game within that 10 so they can stop that clock. Oh, he missed the free throw. All lockdown has to do is move the basketball, be smart. They don't have to rush a shot. Don't worry, just keep moving. Everybody's standing around. Keep moving. Keep moving the ball. Get rid of it. Somebody go to it. Uh -oh. oh, man. There it is. Oh, oh. Yes. Move the ball. Move the ball. Move the ball. Move the ball. Here you go. Three minutes. They hit this three. They're down by now. They keep it. Make, make sure the clock stops. Make sure the clock stops. Double, there's two guys on too much, Too many dribbling, too much dribbling. That's way to 30 seconds dribbling. No All them gold trials out here. It might be a dunk. There it is. Bad basketball by the green team. Bad yeah. basketball. Too much dribbling. Terrible passing. Terrible shot. Ten or, ten or less. So it's 11. It's, it keeps running. Minnesota's uh, defending champs in this league. They finally won a championship. Coach, they've been in this thing for two years. And we got a chip, you huh? know what I mean? You know, you know Chris Hooper, our buddy Chris Hooper. You know he loves basketball. He's in like three or four different leagues in a, in a week's time, and uh, he finally got a championship. Matter of fact, I jokingly said he's on vacation uh, right now in Europe, oh. somewhere, having fun. Chris Hooper. Chris Hooper. All right, here it is. You know, the 15-point game or 14-point game. Got to get in their lane, lay it up. We got an offense. Oh, not good. And that's going to be it probably. No. Nope. There he is, Teo. Teo in the house. This is it. Check on that one. Five going one. These games over. Yeah. Great deep. Look at this. They don't need a score now. They just need a. Uh oh. What are they doing? And that's a layup there. 89-73. The game's over. I like Paul. You see that, you know. Yeah, that you, you see how he brings them in, and then it, it, and then it gets that separation. Great basketball. He plays like a veteran out there as, as a small player. 
you know you gotta get that angle. Three from the outside. I mean, it looks close, coach, but 11 point game, one minute. The clock. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kato really showing himself well today. Uh, like I said, he's going to be watching film after this, getting the stats for his team. Shot from the corner. We got a 10 point game. The clock will stop, but it really doesn't matter at this point. You know, it's not going to. Oh, there it is. All right, here it goes. All it is is just, might be the last shot. That's it. Okay, that's it. 81-93. What are they doing? That coach? Oh. You know how it is, coach. You know, back in the day, coach, you know what happened in that, that situation. A, that would have been a fight. <laughs> that would have been a fight. Yeah, this generation, they let that go. They let that go. That would have been a major fight. Somebody would have came out of the, out of the stands, boop. <laughs> well, there it is. I'm going to get uh, Caleb on the, on, the, on the interview here. Uh, all right game game two in the books that's it uh you know like i assume might happen we have of course caleb here caleb lee 31 points, player of the game, back to back now. Uh, Caleb, you know you're playing against a team that's got some talent. You got you got some guys that can really put the ball in the hole. They got some speed. They got some athleticism. Um, you showed yourself you can do the same thing. What was it that you saw in them that you thought you could have an advantage with your team? Um, I think the biggest thing was I think we're always confident because of our chemistry on our team. Like we're not always the most talented. Like. I'm pretty sure they have they have more talented players maybe as a whole, but and you know the guys that play more. But I think that it just came down to chemistry. Yeah. Um, you know, not saying there's a bad team, but it is five on five. One on one, they got us a lot. Like they they really got a lot of buckets on us. But in a full 40 minute five on five game, and chemistry plays a big part. So yeah. I think that that was on our side for sure. Tonight. Right. Now you know uh, I've seen you play uh, throughout this season, last season, and uh, I cut, you showed me some some extra stuff that I, I didn't know you had in your bag. And it, even the athleticism, I didn't know you had all that. Um, you know, of course, your sister plays for, for, for me at Shoreline this past couple years. Um, what is it about your siblings, your family, your basketball background? You, you got a lot of grit in your game. Uh, I see it in uh, Maddie, I see it in your, your other brother. What was your upbringing like with the basketball with your parents? Um, I would say our parents never put, I think the biggest thing for us is it's just the love of the game. Like our parents never had to put the ball in our hands at all. We, we all picked it up and we just love it so much that we wouldn't rather, you know, do anything else. So right, that's, right. that's what we have in common. All three of us, we just love it so much. It's like, yeah, it's hard for us to, you know, get off the court, get out of the gym. So for our parents, they never really had to push us. They have to, a lot of times, especially with Joe, the youngest, they have to get him out of the gym before they got to get him to the gym. Just cause like, <laughs> just take it easy on his body sometimes, but. Yeah. No, we all just love it so much, and I think that's a that's a big thing for us. We just we just uh, it's just out of the true love of the game. I feel like if you you know if you you can only go so hard if you don't you know love it. But we really we really love it, so I think that's a that's a big thing. Yeah, you know, I was talking to Maddie earlier, and, and she made a comment that, that kind of sticks to my mind. You know, you, after the game, you you'll go home and watch film, and and more so, you do a great a great deed for your, your teammates by getting all the stats yeah, down. Yeah. It takes time to do all that. You really got to focus on every play to be able to do that. Yeah. It looked clean the way you set it up yeah. across the board. I appreciate you doing that yeah. for your team. We've talked about it, you know, for you to maybe do it for maybe another team, but yeah, yeah. I already put it out there on the group chat. You know, I know you're not on the group chat, but, but a lot of guys are kind of talking about it here and there. But that's a great thing. Even if we had somebody that was 
into it like you were yeah. on every team to be yeah. able to do it for their own team that'd be right. great you know yeah. what i mean for sure yeah it's fun for me that's something i like i like doing just on the side and about just you know how everything looks that's like a, i'm like a graphic design major for for college so that's like something i'm really into i like you know making things like online look good and clean so it's fun for me i always watch the games back anyway so just keep the stats you know see how everyone's doing and then yeah. you know put it on a little uh on a little Google Doc and just yeah. you know take a screenshot for everybody, but that's just something fun I like to do, and I think uh, I don't know it's been it's been good so far. I like doing it, but yeah. Well, I, I think you're gonna enjoy watching this game. Yeah. You guys look really good out there. Mm -hmm. I expected you guys to probably win that game. You guys move the ball around a lot better than most teams. Uh, that team right over there, they get that ball moving around. They probably better do it. Now, mm -hmm. last question here before we go to the next game. Uh, pa, which is the point guard of the other team. You, you saw him play I, I, from the coach's eye. I, I really saw a lot of good things from him. Uh -huh. Pulls up at the right time, uh, moves the ball around well, sees the action very well. You That's see him down there. Ah, yeah. yeah. What yeah. do you think about his game? He's good. I like I like uh, I like his energy. I got there was a, a point in the game where, you know, I kind of got I got got my energy up a little bit, started talking, yeah. and he you know he matched the energy and gave it right back. He didn't you know he didn't take anything. He just. You know, he heard me, he responded, he played hard the whole time, so I respect that a lot. He, nice, you know, nice. I, I talked to get myself going, and he yeah. kind of, he responded well, and he played hard, so nice. I can always respect that. Nice. Well, it's always good to learn more about you. I love your family. I love, sure. I love your, the fact that you guys are all in the basketball as much as you are. Uh, we'll see great things from you. You're moving on, of course. Yeah, uh, now, to, uh, I, didn't, I didn't ask that question last week. Where are you going for the next two years? I'm going to uh, Northwest University in, like, the, the Kirkland, like, Bellevue area. So. Right. Right. I'll be there. I'm excited. Coach Dean, they got a, they got a good, good program. They're coming up a little bit. He's yeah. like newer there. Okay. And uh, yeah, I took a, took a visit and it went well. So I'm excited. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Congratulations again. We'll see you next week. All right. All right, buddy. Well, there you go. You guys learn a little bit more about Caleb Lee. Uh, he, he's a guy. He's a great guy. I mean, he plays the game right. Uh, he plays hard. He's got a lot in his bag. I, I've noticed. You know, Coach Terrence and I were just talking about it. You know, we, we like to appreciate seeing guys that really pull out things that we haven't seen maybe later on but you heard it he's going to northwest university um whoever coaching over there you got a good guy i think he's going to be good for the team not only uh, on the court but off the court that family is uh i, I have a lot of respect for that family they, they do a lot of great things for their kids and I've, I've got to know the dad a little better i really like that guy so anyway congratulations for that team winning uh lock up uh, MVP, of course, Caleb Lee. Now, game three of the night, the nightcap game, we got we got for Kobe. For Kobe, Will is a captain of their team. Will's going to come over and help Maddie with the names and numbers here. Um, and I'm going to have to get the, the uniforms for, of course, Tormund and Sos. Now, just to let you know, Tormund and Sos has not won a game yet, but they are the defending champs, and they do got some veteranship on there. You're going to expect them to come out strong against a team that also has not got a win yet, but let's let you know this team can play. And uh, the team uh, that hasn't won a game, both teams here, the team I'm talking about here with Teo, Teo is a fun guy to watch. You got to be able to play with that guy the right way because he is like the Steph Curry type style. He will move and constantly move until he gets open. You just have to have the right pieces and the the facilitating eye, point guard, or teammate to be able to find them. So let's see what happens in this game. Stay tuned. Nightcap game.